Thank you all for coming. Um, my name is Emily Spenson. I'm the chair of Hyde Park's Conservation Advisory Council. Uh, I'm so glad to see such a great group of people here. Um, uh, and I also wanted to thank our presenters who, who are nice enough to come out tonight and do this presentation. It's going to be a really great lineup tonight. Um, hi to everyone out there at home also, and I'm glad that uh, so many people are getting to watch this presentation tonight. Um, as I said, the Conservation Advisory Council um, is comprised of Amy Heater, Lou Lelyveld, Jenny Magnus, Mike Rubo, and myself. They're all here tonight. Do you all want to stand up and say hello? Yeah. All right. Um, and our job is to advise the town board and planning board on conservation issues in Hyde Park and also to um, help spread the word with the public. Um, could you, yeah, thanks. <laughs> So uh, the, the first part of the presentation tonight is going to be about a habitat mapping study that was done here in Hyde Park. Um, we were fortunate, I'll thank the Department of Environmental Conservation, the CAC was fortunate to obtain a grant from the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation um, through the Hudson River Estuary Program to do a habitat mapping study of the northern section of Hyde Park. It's that section that's sort of a yellowish tan color on the top, so it's north of South Cross and Falk Hill roads in Hyde Park on Statsburg. Um, and there was another section of town, we won't be talking about it tonight, but the green section was mapped by a group of volunteers here in Hyde Park. So we now have a, about a third of, maybe more than a third of the town um, completely mapped in terms of habitats. Thank you. Um, and what, one of the reasons that we wanted to do this, this mapping study was that Hyde Park is really blessed with some fantastic natural resources. We, we have a lot of high quality habitats for various wildlife in this town. And um, one, of the, one of the things that this study will, will help us to um, look at is when projects come in for review by the town, I put this map up here just so that you could see in the northern section of town, the, the white and the light blue parcels are all um, uh, just residential land for the most part. The yellow parcels are places where um, development projects are proposed. And um, when this habitat mapping study is going to be great for the town. It'll really um, increase the efficiency and the effectiveness of the project review um, process when those projects come through. Um, because it'll allow the planning board and the CAC and others to um, really look at the, the bigger picture um, in terms of, of habitats in the town when they're looking at um, uh, each of those parcels. Can you go on? So um, we're going to have uh, Gretchen Stevens from Hudsonia is going to discuss the habitat mapping study that was completed for the northern part of Hyde Park. But we thought that in addition to that, um, it would be, it, we'd really like for you to leave here tonight with ideas for what you can actually do on your own property if you um, care about trying to preserve habitat. So we added some other topics to the agenda tonight. They're going to be pretty brief because I know no one wants to <laughs> sit here all night long, but um, we're going to do a, a quick presentations on landscaping with native plants, um, backyard conservation, stream and wetland buffers, um, conservation easements, and forestry services. Um, and we're going to have some great speakers for that. We have um, Lucy Hayden from Winnicky Land Trust, who's going to speak about easements, and um, Barbara Lucas Wilson from DEC will be speaking about their forestry services. So it's, I think this is going to be a valuable program. Um, I just wanted to point out, did everyone get a green folder? If you look in, in the green folder, there's an agenda in there. On the back of the agenda is all the presenters' contact information, so if you want to um, ask them any questions later. Um, there's also a card in there that I, if, you, if you don't mind just filling out what um, things you might want to learn more about and leave it for us um, in, on the back table when you leave. As I said, um, we're going to have a very short time to cover these things tonight, but if there's something that's of interest to people, we can hold longer presentations on those things in the future. Um, and also, if you put your email address on there, I'll add you to my list for our email newsletter that the CAC sends out. So. Um, as I said, we have a lot on the agenda, so I'm going to ask if people can hold their questions till the end. We'll hopefully have about an hour or so of presentations, and then there's going to be plenty of time at the end to have some cookies, some coffee, and all the presenters are going to be here, um, so you can go up and talk to them one-on-one -on -one with your individual questions. So I think that'll be the best way. Because of the microphone situation, um, they can't, the audience at home can't hear if people are asking questions from the audience. So we're just going to stick to the presentations and hold the questions to the end. Okay, so um, without further ado, I'll hand it over to 